just miracles and I mean causing the main to be whole. That's still the one that just boggles my mind. People coming up and their legs cut off and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. But uh, just a real neat answer to prayer. Um, the video that I did about the attacks, current attacks on the ministry, um, there were two cases, open cases left. Of the guy, I, I, you know, showed his information, things just, 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 you know, showed his information, things just to, to show people how these infiltrators work and everything else. And uh, so, uh, people that try to infiltrate, we're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. Uh, unlike dealing with liberals that don't protect, I will leaving Christians like you know myself and you if you're a friend of the ministry. All right, got a clip here to prove what I've been saying in the past about Brian Dellinger, that he is a compulsive liar, and the fact that he has no issue knowingly and willfully telling lies when it benefits him and when it suits him, or when he's called out for error, okay? In this clip I'm going to show, he is claiming, so he's basically, it's a clip, it's part of a, a, a longer little tirade he goes on, in which he also lies in that one as well, where he's basically addressing the whole debacle him and Tim Conn had, and he actually lies about that, about the whole situation behind that as well, which is another issue, because again, Brian's a compulsive liar. Uh, but in this clip, he is, uh, because because one of the one of the things that, he's criti that he was basically being criticized for is, oh, you got upset at Tim for showing personal messages, but you showed it in your rebuke of Jeremy Carter, which he did. He showed him and his, him and his uh, you know, his former cronies who were in that rebuke showed personal messages, yet Brian Dunlinger gets mad when personal messages are brought out when it's a rebuke of him. See, it's a it's complete hypocrisy from Brian, but hey, it's to be expected. But he actually lies and says, oh, I, I didn't show any personal personal emails. He may not, and by the way, too, they actually did show some emails in that message, so you're going to see Brian is a compulsive liar. But even if he didn't show any emails, they, show, they still showed personal messages. So just a bunch of word semantics that Brian Dunlinger likes doing. But check this out. And, you know, I watched a little bit of the critiques and whatever else, and it's just twisting my words and, and saying things, lying about me and stuff, showing, you know, personal emails. And and, and it was, uh, oh, well, you know, you don't like personal emails being shown, but you showed them when we rebuked Jeremy Carter. Well, actually, if you watch that live stream, I didn't show any personal emails. And by the way, this is not the first time that Brian Dillinger has willfully and knowingly lied about a situation when it basically is suiting him. That's the truth of the matter. Is that the, the, time and time again, Brian Dillinger has been caught lying. He and and the people he does it to, you know. I mean, you know, Philip Newton, when he came out and rebuked Brian, Brian lied about the situation between him and his wife. Obviously, he lied about why Tim Conan rebuked him, despite knowing the full situation. Because in all these situations I'm mentioning, he knew the full situation and knew the truth, but told the told falsehood anyway. So he knew the truth but lied anyway. So therefore, he's knowingly sinning. But then when you call him out for it, oh, you're, you're, don't speak, yeah, I'm an elder. Because he'll, he'll love to throw out his age as some kind of way to deflect criticism. But Brian Dellinger is a compulsive liar. Whenever he, whenever he gives his side of the story, he honestly can't, I mean, really, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest when I say this, I really can't trust the guy. I, 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 I have a hard time believing a word he says because he's been caught knowingly and willfully lying multiple times whenever it benefits him. So, just another example of that. Uh, Brian Dillinger is a compulsive liar, and he needs to repent of that. You know, he needs to repent of his pride too, which he admits one time as well. He admitted in a video that was been that was uh, from back in 2017, which he has since deleted, that he struggles with pride. So you rebuke him for his lies. Oh, you're in sin for talking against the elder. It's a bunch of garbage, but hey, that's a Brian Dillinger cult. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with, be with all the brethren. Goodbye.